we want to find the arc length of the linear function y equals 3x minus 2 on the closed interval from 0 to 3. So notice when x is 0, we'd be at the y-intercept with the point 0, negative 2 here. And when x is 3, we'd be at the point 3, comma 7 here. And again, because our function is linear, the arc length would be the length of this segment here. Because we have a function of x, we can use this integration formula here to find the arc length, where s equals the integral of the square root of the quantity 1 plus f prime of x squared, integrated with respect to x from a to b. But because our function is linear, we could also find the arc length using the distance formula here that gives us a distance between two points. Let's first find the arc length using integration, and then we'll verify we get the same result using the distance formula. But it is important to keep in mind, we can only use the distance formula here in this example because the function is linear. So first notice f of x would be a linear function, f of x equals 3x minus 2, and f prime of x would be equal to 3. And therefore using integration, the arc length is equal to the integral of the square root of 1 plus f prime of x squared, which would just be 3 squared, integrated with respect to x from 0 to 3. We'll notice here the integrand is just a constant. We have the integral of the square root of 1 plus 9, that's 10, so we have the square root of 10. And therefore the antiderivative would just be square root 10 times x, or x square root 10. I will evaluate this at 3 and then 0 and then find the difference. So when x is 3, we have 3 square root 10 minus when x is 0, we have 0 square root 10. And since 0 square root 10 is just 0, our arc length is 3 square root 10 units. Now let's just verify we can get the same results using the distance formula between two points on the coordinate plane because our function is linear. Let's begin by identifying the two points. Point one would be when x is zero, so we'd have zero comma negative two. And the second point would be when x is three, we'd have three comma seven. And therefore the distance is equal to the square root of, let's go ahead and call these the ones, x sub one, y sub one, and these the twos. So x sub 2 minus x sub 1 would be 3 minus 0, that's squared, plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1, that's 7 minus negative 2 squared. And so this simplifies to the square root of, here we have 3 squared or 9, plus, notice this becomes 7 plus 2 or 9, and 9 squared is 81. So we have the square root of 90 but 90 is equal to 9 times 10, where 9 is a perfect square. And since the square root of 9 equals 3, we get the same result. The distance between these two points, which again is the arc length because this function is linear, is 3 square root 10. So just keep in mind most of our functions will not be linear, so we'll find the arc length only using integration. I hope you found this helpful.